In this video, I'll be covering 10 basic tips that hopefully will make XBMC a bit easier to navigate and enjoy. Most of the tips use your keyboard and or your mouse, so grab both of those because here's tip number one. This first tip covers two actions. The first is how to view a movie trailer, and we'll call that 1A. Then in 1B, we'll cover how to save a video to favorites. The reason we're lumping them together is because the means of accessing them is the same. First, highlight the video that you're interested in. In this case, we'll choose Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit. Once it's highlighted, move to your keyboard and tap the letter C. That'll bring up a context menu, and one of the options will be Play Trailer. Simply click on that and the trailer will start. As I stated earlier, the steps are the same if you want to add a video to favorites. So again, we'll use Jack Ryan, we'll highlight it, tap the letter C, and in that same context menu, we'll find the option to add to favorites. We'll get a notification in the bottom right corner of the screen telling us that our movie has been added. So the next time we come into XBMC, we won't have to search for or look for, in this case, Jack Ryan. We can simply go to favorites, and there it is. Tip number two is how to change view modes. XBMC offers you seven different viewing modes ranging from the original size to stretch 16 by 9. You can cycle through the options by simply going to your keyboard and tapping the letter Z. In XBMC, you can easily change the way a list appears when you're looking through a list of videos. That includes what kind of fan art you get, whether you get a description of the videos, and in some cases, how that list is sorted. So to change the appearance, just hover over the far left middle of the screen. The pullout tray is going to open, and as you begin clicking on View under the View options, it'll start cycling through the different options, with each offering more or less information than the previous one. Though it's not available on this particular add-on, some will allow you to sort the list by name, by release date, by genre, etc. Just remember to check the add-on you're in to see what options you have available to you. You can always pause a movie by bringing up the controls and hitting the pause button. But oftentimes a quicker way might be to just hit the space bar. It'll act as a toggle between pause and play, so hitting it again will cause the movie to continue. While a video is playing, you can quickly and easily raise or lower the volume by using a keyboard shortcut. First, tapping the equal key will raise the volume. And correspondingly, tapping the minus key will lower the volume. XBMC provides you with a keyboard shortcut to both fast forward and rewind through a movie. We use the F key to fast forward and we use the R key to rewind. So each tap on F will double the current playback speed until finally it cycles back around to normal playback. Each tap on R has the same effect, only it does so as the movie rewinds. Tip number seven deals with lip syncing issues as in the case where the video and voice track are off. If you tap the letter A on your keyboard, that'll bring up the audio offset control. From here, you could use your mouse to delay or move the audio track ahead. But the easier way for me is to use the right or left arrow keys on the keyboard. The right arrow key moves it ahead and the left arrow key will delay it. Now you can't really tell from this trailer, but from my experience, if you move the audio track ahead by 0.25 seconds, most of the time that'll put the video and the audio in sync. In XBMC, you can always go back to the previous screen by clicking on the arrow located in the bottom right corner of the screen. But a more convenient way might be to just right click your mouse. By the same token, you can always return to XBMC's home screen by either clicking the home button in the bottom right corner of the screen but you can also get there by hitting the escape key. Tip number nine shows you how to exit 
XBMC immediately from anywhere in the menu structure, including a running movie. To do that, simply hit S on the keyboard. That'll bring up a menu. From that menu, you select Exit. Just be aware, if you hit Exit, it's going to kick you out of XBMC altogether. We have reached tip number 10, and it deals with the case when you're in XBMC, and instead of your screen looking like this, it looks like this instead. In this case, the first thing to do is not to panic. Simply go to your keyboard, find the backslash key, tap that one time, and it'll restore your screen to its normal size. Well, folks, that's it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll have more videos coming soon, so if you want to subscribe, please do that as well. I hope this video has been helpful, and thank you for watching.